How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and in this video we are going to set up the Rolo Thermal Label Printer with a Macintosh computer. I did an unboxing slash initial impressions video. You can check that out in the corner if you're interested. But this is more like step-by-step -step screen share to help anyone, anyone that's hung up that needs step-by-step -step instructions to install their printer. But thank you guys so much for watching. So if at any time during the video, feel free to ask questions in the comment section or reach out to my Instagram. And don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up so more people can find it. And with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. And if you haven't already seen my Rolo unboxing slash initial impressions, I highly recommend that video. There's a lot of information in there. And if you wanna check that video out, I'll put a link to it in the description. It'll also pop up in the corner, but let's get into the tutorial. Open your favorite browser. You're gonna to go to rolo.com, printer setup guide. We're gonna to go to install driver, download Mac driver, automatically downloaded the DMG file right here. I will put a link to this in the description if you don't want to have to navigate here, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to find. You're going to navigate to your downloads folder or click this DMG right here. Open up that DMG file. All right, we get three things in here. We get a sample label, we get the PKG file, and we get a Mac installation PDF. You can open that PDF. It's pretty much what I'm going to be going through right now. The sample label, you can open that. We're going to print that later. And the PKG is what we are going to install. We're gonna double click on that, hit continue, hit install. And then you're going to type in your password or use your fingerprint, whatever, to get that package installed. Hit close, and then we can move that to the trash. We don't need to keep it around. Closes that. We're going to go to the finder, little magnifying glass up here. We can type in printers and scanners, and it'll bring you right to the printers and scanners. You're going to hit the plus sign and your printer, thermal printer pops up. It is not branded Rolo yet because we haven't installed the driver. But if you're not getting the printer to come up, make sure that the power is on, everything's plugged in, double check, make sure all Cables are tight, power supply is going, green lights on the printer. Everything should be good to go. We're going to highlight that printer, thermal printer, choose the driver, select software, go up here, type in Rolo, and it should come up with only one Rolo printer. You're gonna hit okay, and you're gonna hit add. And then it just set up our thermal printer. We're going to rename it. We're gonna rename it Rolo. I don't think you can build that into the driver software. So just so we don't get confused, we're gonna name it Rolo. Do you remember that sample label we opened up? Well, there it is. We're going to do a sample label print just to make sure everything is square. And you should keep in mind the way that they built the sample label is very high quality compared to what you're going to be printing off of like pirate ship or off of, um, or off of eBay or Poshmark. It's a little bit crisper than the labels that get generated, the PDFs that you're gonna be downloading and printing from. Hit Command P or you can go up here to File Print. And then here are the settings you are going to wanna to use. It likes to default by eight and a half by 11 because that's just normal printer size. You're going to change it to 100 by 150 millimeters or four by six. Those are close enough in equivalence to not have an issue with your printer. You're going to wanna to change this to last used settings because that will remember these settings for the next time that you print. Uh, if you go to this drop down preview and go to printer features, there are a couple more settings such as darkness and print speed that you could mess with. Right now it's at four inches per second. You could turn it up to six, I think it says is the maximum, but I don't know why it says eight. But if you see a quality issue in your prints, you can always turn your darkness up a few and you can turn your print speed down. That allows the, the paper to go through the printer slowly and the thermal transfer to happen slower, therefore being a little bit crisper. If your prints are a little bit light, you can mess with those settings. Everything should be good. We're going to hit print, send it to the roller. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I have mine set up with a box underneath. It's feeding the labels to the Rolo, just like that. Box is down here. It's got a if you can see, it's got a box with...
It's got a box with a chopstick in it with a roll from FedEx. And that that gives it a little spindle because I think that thing that they sell you for 20 bucks is a waste of money. But to each their own. But that's the printer. A uh, very easy setup. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Rolo or put a comment in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. Don't forget the platform that you're trying to ship on. Let it be eBay, Amazon, Etsy, whatever. You're going to have to go into that platform and change their settings to 4x6 and then generate the label. You can't just try to print an old eBay label that's in 85 by 11 and expect it to work with your thermal printer. The shipping labels need to be in 4x6. On eBay, when you're generating a label, when you're buying postage, there's a setting in the corner. You can change it to a 4x6. On Etsy, you can change it within your preferences. On Poshmark, you can change it in your preferences. Mercari is behind in the times. They don't have it yet. Once everything's set up, it's all fine and dandy. And let me know if you have any questions about the printer in the comments section. And I thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.